So one of the things that we talked about, which was really featured in the, um, I think it was the first uh, uh, half day that we did, was the practice of power-ups. And as I mentioned, of all the things I've learned over the years and the research behind it around resilience, the practice of power-ups and the research behind power-ups, I would say, if not the number one practice, like say the top three or the top five. And so quick context, that was the story about uh, Dr. Jay McGonigal, who's a, a rock star in the video games world. She had the concussion and she applied video game psychology and her sister, Kelly McGonigal, who's um, a superstar in the, in the positive psychology field, positive psychology techniques, to help blast herself out of depression. And so power-ups are the, the um, uh, component of video games where you consume something or get some special power, whatever form it, depending on the game, that makes your character more powerful, hence power-ups. And so learning to identify her real world power-ups and then and then deploying them helped blast her out of her her depression and she ended up creating a, a program called super better that people all around the world use to deal with anxiety achieve health goals break free from depression etc and so one of the reasons why i love power-ups is because they're so simple actionable and powerful so it's like, what, you know, what's not to love about them? So she identifies four types of power-ups. And I've got my little clipboard here. I want to make sure I, um, I cover them um, with some detail. But again, I'll make this short and sweet. So intellectual power-ups. So for me, it might be reading a an inspiring quote. So let's say you're going you're going through a um, a difficult day, and maybe just remembering that simple "this too shall pass" quote, or you know, watching a quick video that has an inspiring speech. That's both emotional and intellectual. But let's say something in the speech is intellectually stimulating. Another thing that really works for me because I love learning is watching a short video or listening to a podcast or that has information, especially research, that's really fascinating and relevant to the world of work. Or maybe just hearing some fascinating insight by somebody or having fascinating insight yourself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to that in a moment. Uh, number two is emo so that's uh, intellectual power up. Number two is emotional power ups. So it, uh, so anything that impacts us at the emotional level. So listening to inspiring music that's a hugely um, effective one because the uh, music affects the limbic system, which is the emotional part of the brain. Inspiring video. Engaging in an act of kindness, giving somebody a compliment, expressing gratitude, doing a favor for somebody. So that's an emotional power up. Just making a warm connection. So emotional or, or watching a, a cute animal video. And if it's sorry about the shaking, I was resting my hand on my, um, my desktop. Number so emotional. Number three is social. So social and emotional, there's some overlap. So having a, a warm conversation with somebody. So let's say you've just been, you know, crunching numbers or gone through a bunch of very operational sort of ugh, boring meetings and you just, you, you, you need to feel the like, now this is why I do what I do. So that's where emotional and social comes in. So some of you talked about rounding and how that feeds you or having just like a short heartfelt conversation with a colleague, a patient, et cetera, fun conversation. Uh, maybe it's, uh, especially if you're an extrovert and you've been working alone with a furrowed brow over some sort of task, maybe it's getting out into some sort of group conversation, or maybe it's like after work and you're like doing a group you know, spin class or something like that. 
Also, one of the things that Jay McGonigal recommends is, and this is, you know, living in the virtual and digital world, is like doing a, a post, a comment on a friend's Facebook post or complimenting their LinkedIn post. So that's the social uh, power up. So engaging in the social realm to boost our emotional state. And then last and certainly not least is the physical power up. So whether it's doing breath work, so rapid breathing boosts the energy level, um, deep breathing, um, that's more of a, a mellow, I wouldn't call that a power up, I'd call that more of a uh, state change to me mellow you out. Maybe like do a quick dance, uh, do some burpees or chin ups or power ups or go for a, a fast walk, or maybe just do some stretches, especially if you've done Zoom meeting after Zoom meeting. Drink water, making sure that you're hydrated. So anything in the, the physical realm or you know, have some coffee. So intellectual, emotional, social, and physical power-ups, those are all ways of boosting our energy level so we're shifting our state into a more productive, empowered, um, effective state. So let me give you a quick example. Um, this happened a while back, and I was needing to uh, work on a... Um, a program I was doing to write an article and I just didn't have any creative mojo. And so pretty much every morning I work out. So I figure, okay, I'll work out and that'll do the trick. Still didn't have an in me. So I'm like, okay, I'll work out and put on some, um, you know, uh, really uh, badass music. No, that's not working either. It's like, okay. And so I switched to watching um, a video of somebody talking about something in peak performance technology or polyvagal theory, whatever it is. And it's in that like influx of information, that intellectual stimulation, it's like, bam, that's what, what flipped the switch for me. And now my energy level is high. I'm ready to like get down to work and create. So sometimes what you have to do is search for, like try out several different ones before one actually works in that moment for you. So the name of the game is reflect on power-ups that already you know work for you and start using them or using them more um, intentionally. And then B, experiment with other power-ups. So you've got this list and ask yourself, what are intellectual power-ups for me? What are social power-ups for me? Because, you know, different strokes for different folks. And then maybe as a team, just share like, hey, power-ups that you've been uh, experimenting with this week that have been working for you. And then share this with your, with your team, with your, you know, with your family members. Again, power-ups are incredibly useful and simple to um, apply. And then last but not least, if you remember, we talked about power-ups strengthen vagal tone, which strengthen resilience. So it's both a short-term impact and a long-term health and emotional well-being impact. And given how worn out you feel and your team feels, Making power-ups a regular part of daily life is an incredibly useful way of helping offset the burnout that the whole pandemic and the demands uh, created by it is causing.